Hey you guys, this is Renata. I read a comment on one of my videos left by someone named Matrix Monroe. And what Matrix said was that he encountered a doppelganger. And for those of you who don't know what a doppelganger is, I may not give the exact description correctly, but basically it's a person that looks so much like another person not only do they look like them, but they may even have the mannerisms like them. They may talk like them, walk like them, move like them. So much so that you would almost think that it is that person. And so he said that he was in a situation in his life, and I won't go into all those details, but um, basically this doppelganger looked exactly like his roommate. And he says so much so that he would kind of like whisper to the person like thinking that he might respond because he really was like is this him is it you know so he finally figured out that that wasn't him of course and he had said to the person that you know i want you to meet my roommate because you are so much like him but by the time he got ready to call this guy the doppelganger uh, all of the information was erased in his phone, I think he said. So he never got to introduce the two. But later on down the line, he realized that that person was part of his targeting. And uh, when I read that, and I did comment to him, but when I read that, it reminded me that I have had similar situations like that where lookalikes have been sent. And that's something that I don't think I've seen a video on. I don't remember uh, hearing about this on any of the uh, TI conference calls. And so I came up with a list of some things that I had no idea was part of my targeting. Um, even though once I realized I was being targeted, I had done my research and I had kind of uh, figured out that certain things were part of my targeting. But a lot of things, it took me a while to figure out. And that whole doppelganger thing or lookalikes or whatever you want to call it, that's one of the things that took me a long time to figure out. I have had people sent to me that look like just about every family member I have. And I mean exactly like them. Now, I don't know if these people have some sort of database where they can pull up people uh, via facial recognition or what but it can be pretty scary especially when you're first targeted and you're like wow is that is that my mother over there you know but it's not um or other relatives or friend or even deceased people they will do it with even people who maybe you were close to that was deceased um one of the common people they used to do that to me was, uh, with was uh, one of my family members who's very heavily in my uh, involved in my targeting. I would see lookalikes everywhere of this person. And finally, I figured out this has to be part of my targeting. And then it started happening so frequently that I knew. And some of them would be very in very uh, close proximity of me. And then some would be like maybe across the street or driving past or whatever. But I got to the point where I would say to myself, well, if they're a family member of mine or a friend of mine, then they would say something. You know, I'm not going to speak. I'm not going to say anything. And I, and I didn't. But there were times where I was tempted because it's like, oh, well, what's she doing here? You know, and then your natural reaction would be like, hey, you know, how you doing or whatever. But I never did. I never did speak because I just kind of figured like something strange here, you know. But um, I was glad that he brought this up because I wanted to um, let anyone know who may be experiencing this, that this could possibly be part of targeting. It's not a coincidence when it happens over and over and over. Okay, so that's one of the things. So thank you, uh, Matrix, for bringing that up. Um, the other thing is, let's see, I had a bunch of things. So if this goes too long, then I'll uh, probably make a part two because I know I tend to, to get a little long-winded. Um, 
another thing is I'm going to call them chance meetings. You're somewhere and all of a sudden you run into someone you know. Now, this this is not to say that had you not been targeted, you would never run into people because, of course, we, you know, we run into people in the grocery store or at the bank or whatever. But these chance meetings happen ever so frequently. And sometimes the person who you just happen to be running into would not even normally be in that area or that environment. For example, um, I grew up in San Francisco, but moved to Oakland once I became an adult. And for a while there, so many people from San Francisco were were coming to Oakland. And I'm running into them at the grocery store, at the Dollar Tree, at the bank, and it just it that that just would not be normal for them to pass up all of their shopping malls all of their banks, all of their grocery stores to end up at the grocery store that I'm at. So that took me a while to figure out. Um, so if that's happening to you, and again, it it, it, it it can happen naturally, like things like that really can happen. But when it's happening frequently like that, and then the people are out of the natural element that they would be in, then that could possibly be um, related to your targeting. Another thing, this one is rather gross. Um, vulgar acts. I had no idea that these vulgar things that was happening around me and that I was seeing was related to my targeting until one day the light bulb just went on and I said, this has to be part of the targeting because again, it was happening so frequently. Uh, one of the places I used to park to take the train to work there was uh, all of a sudden i'll say there was a car that appeared to be abandoned and that car was not always there but all of a sudden that car was there and i would park right by that right right there because that's where the free parking was and when i would get there it started out with the lady i guess who may have been homeless she appeared homeless and the car appeared abandoned um, she would get out of the car and, you know, she just like stand around or smoke a cigarette or whatever. Then it got to the point where she would get out of the car and she would pee right there, right in front of me, right there. And like I said, she appeared to be homeless. So maybe that is how she used the bathroom. But it was kind of odd that it would happen when I was parking or when I was getting out of the car. OK, so I would see things like that. Um, where I work now, where I park, I, I pass a construction site. The construction workers commonly like to grab their private parts in front of me. And it's, it's not an accident. It's not by happenstance. It is very intentional. I have taken pictures, but I will not post those pictures here online, but uh, that's part of my evidence gathering. Um, but just, just things like that. Uh, the ultimate, the ultimate vulgar scene that I saw was uh, on my lunch break in San Francisco, had to be hundreds of people because it's so crowded over there all the time, hundreds of people in this spot where people would sit out and um, sit out in the sun and eat lunch and things, okay? So I'm sitting there and I'm looking around and all of a sudden, this lady comes down the street. She appeared to be homeless. She came down the street and she had her clothes on she stopped not far away from me and she just started stripping. She stripped all the way down, but naked, piece by piece by piece by piece until she didn't have a piece of clothes on. She was naked like she could have stepped in the shower kind of naked, naked, birthday suit, all the way naked. So I'm looking around like, does anybody see this but me? nobody looked nobody looked everybody just carried on it, it was it was very 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 strange but at that point i realized and there's been more incidences but 
I realized, you know what, this is part of targeting. And then other people have told me that they've seen vulgar stuff too. So if that happens to you and it happens over and over, then just know it is part, it, it could possibly be part of your targeting. Another thing that used to happen, now this was way in the beginning of the targeting. Every time I would walk in the door, the telephone would ring. And they 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 do multiple things with the telephone. I get um, loud Hispanic talking when I answer the phone, or it could be Chinese talking. Um, I had a heavy breather at one time, so just know that you know a lot of missed calls or whatever. Uh, they they definitely do things with the phone, and it took me a while to realize that. Um, homeless people, going back to the homeless people. I uh, used to give, you know, a dollar or some change or whatever to homeless people. And then I started to notice that they're always around me. I don't literally mean always, but around me a lot. And um, at some point I began to realize that they really do use homeless people. And I'm assuming that they probably give them a little something you know, because they they probably need it and it will probably be very easy to get them involved. But yes, um, homeless people are definitely involved sometimes. Not all homeless people, but some. Uh, what else? It took me a while to catch on to. Um, authority figures. It took me a while to realize that certain type of authority figures can possibly be involved. Um, for instance, uh, when I used to file police reports about all of this, I was in all sincerity coming to them for help, not realizing that some of them were involved um, in stores. If I'd be harassed in stores, which I still am to this day, but there are times where I went to the manager thinking that genuinely thinking that I was going to get help. I remember um, talking to Costco's um corporate office the next thing you know the person from the corporate office was at the store harassing me the next time I was there um, Trader Joe's same thing Safeway same thing so it took me to it took me a while to uh, realize that the some of the employees uh, are involved in targeting at these stores and also um, the management staff okay what else The people at work, it took me a while to realize that they were involved, but they definitely are, some of them, no matter where I've worked, actually, because I'm on a brand new job and I'm dealing with it already. Um, so, yeah, the people at work. The people in my circle was very hurtful, and I've never had a large circle of, of friends and family around me, but the, the few that was in my circle um, it really was a harsh reality for me to realize that some of them were involved, and I can go so far as to say most of them at this point um, were or are involved. And that was really hard for me to wrap my mind around because these were people who knew me um, either all my life or for a long time. And uh, just for me to have to deal with the fact that the people in the community had turned on me, the people at work had turned on me, but now the people who are closest to me as well, uh, that was really, really, really hard for me to deal with in the beginning. Um, the doctors, it took me forever. I just really couldn't believe the doctors were involved, but they have been, some of them have been. Um, the dentist has been. The doctor has been. Um, I have a hard time even getting uh, the right diagnosis from the doctor. I try to stay away from hospitals, but there are times where we need to go. Um, and I'll say these um, aches and pains, some of these aches and pains that I feel, I really am almost positive that I can attribute a lot of them to directed energy and I was one of those people who, for years, if you were to ask me how was I targeted, I would say I only get the stalking. I only get people following me. That's all I get. I don't get the voices, which I don't. Um, but I don't get the directed energy that I hear people talking about. But now I'm realizing, yes, I do. 
I do. I do get direct energy. I um, suffer from very chronic fatigue. I could I could fall to sleep anytime. I have very chronic uh, fatigue, and I've been diagnosed with that. Um, fibromyalgia, arthritis, uh, all, uh, uh, sleep paralysis, all kinds of stuff that I truly, truly believe has to do with targeting. Um, there's really no way to prove that, but I believe that that has to do with direct energy and some other things. And uh, one one thing that used to happen to me for years that had me so debilitated, and that was migraines. I had the worst migraines that I could ever describe. Um, I would go blind on one side. I couldn't hear. Everything focused on my right side for whatever reason. And I've come to believe now, uh, now that I know what I know, I've come to believe that those migraines were probably a result of direct energy and it went on for years and it was it was the most debilitating thing a person could ever experience it was really bad um, and I've heard other TI say that they get really bad migraines and if you do by the way if you do get migraines uh, you might want to consider but I will caution you to do your own research but consider something called fever few F-E-V-E-R-F-E-W. And it's natural. Um, I used to get it from GNC. And once I took that, it's not something you take when the migraine comes on. Because if you're a migraine sufferer, you know that nothing will take it away once it's there. But it's something that you have to get in your system. And um, I never had another one. I took it for probably about a month every day. And I never had another one. So if you are a migraine sufferer, you might want to consider trying that. Check with your doctor. Do your own research. Okay. But that worked for me. And I've told other people and it worked for them. So um, that's it. I actually went almost 20 minutes. I didn't mean to do that. But I, I, um, I'm i very grateful for Matrix Monroe uh, bringing up that doppelganger um, subject because it really just had me thinking today like there are a lot of things that I did my research on when I first discovered the targeting I did my research so there were things that I expected because many TIs had talked about certain things especially being followed and um, color stalking and things like that synchronizing and all of that so I was expecting those things but the things that I just mentioned to you, I, I really hadn't heard anybody talk about. And uh, not to say that people don't, but I just hadn't heard it. So um, I wasn't prepared for those things. And sometimes when we're not prepared, it can really have an effect on us mentally, which is uh, the goal, you know, to break us down mentally. So I'm hoping by by me sharing some of these things, Maybe some people can identify some of these things that may possibly have been happening to them that they didn't realize was part of targeting. And you can just learn to um, do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself. For me, ignoring works really good. Um, I know some people that doesn't work for, but however you take care of yourself, it's really good to identify um, these tactics because they're, they're designed to bring you down. If they continue to do these tactics, I mean, if you're seeing people that look like your dead relatives or um, your long lost cousin in Tupelo, Mississippi somewhere, that can really mess with your head. You know, I remember uh, one looked exactly like one of my brothers. I mean, when I say exactly, I mean exactly. Height. Uh, build everything the reason why I knew that it wasn't him first of all he would have spoke if you know he would have spoke to me um, but second of all the way they had the person's hair it, it, I knew it wasn't him but it was still spooky it's, it's just weird you know and I, I took a picture of that guy and um, and I showed it to my husband I said who is this I said, who do you think this is? And he said my brother's name. So that's how much he looked like him. He said, that's him, right? That's him. It's like, no, that's not him. 
you know, so that could really mess you up. But I knew better. I knew better because by then I had figured out that they were doing that because that, that had been going on for a while. So now I just ignore it. You know, I don't I don't let it affect me, but it very much can affect you. It really can. Like the person who left the comment said that he was whispering to the guy because he's trying to see if the guy's going to respond. That's how close of a match they can do, which leads me to believe that they have to have some sort of database or something. They have to. So, uh, you know, if you have children that are targeted, warn them about this as well, because they may send someone that looks like you and your children think is you. You know, I had to tell my children one time that that wasn't their grandmother. Because they sent someone that looked exactly like my mom. You know, I've seen um, some that look exactly like my mother-in-law. You know, I, I've seen all my family members. <laughs> I've seen all their doppelgangers. But I know better. I know better. So uh, hopefully this video will uh, help someone. And, uh, you know, don't be fooled by any of their tactics. Any of Satan's vices. Okay, so uh, please thumbs up this video, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, subscribe to my new channel if you haven't, I'm struggling with that channel, I'm, I may just close that all the way down, I'm not sure, um, but I'll, I'll leave the link in the description box to the, to the new channel, that's going to be more of um, current events and things like that. Um, okay, so comment, thumbs up the video and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. God bless you guys and stay strong.